or even first run and I've heard there's a tree down on this so definitely gonna keep it pretty chill a few weeks ago I posted a first ride video with my new privateer 161 enduro bike but I also mentioned that I still needed to test it on the kind of trails it's actually made for this is Raven and it's exactly the kind of trail I had in mind for those who don't know, Raven is a black technical trail at Blackstrap Hill Preserve in Falmouth. It's not super steep, although it's steeper than this GoPro footage makes it look, but it is fast and chunky almost all the way down, with a few slower sections and a couple of optional drops. Oh my god, my helmet is bouncing around like crazy! Not sure that's a good thing. There's the drop, which I'm not doing today. Oh, it's also creaking like crazy. I hope you can't hear that in the video, but if you can, I'm sorry. This is my first ride of the year here, and also I'm not good at bikes, so I'm not exactly flying. But I have to say, the 161 is really confidence inspiring, and it is fast. Pointed downhill, it kind of just doesn't care about chunk, and if you see me going slow here, it's because I'm dragging the brakes, not because of the bike. It's not a super plush ride, but it's also not harsh, if that makes sense. I'd say it's more like you can feel the trail, but you're not getting thrown around or anything like that. Now, obviously it's still early days with this bike for me, but it does seem like it rewards a slightly more aggressive, active riding style, which is something that I saw in some of the reviews. I didn't get any footage of the climb because it's boring, but the climb trail here is blue single track with some tight switchbacks, and this bike felt comfortable all the way up. It's not the fastest climber, obviously, but that steep seat tube angle really makes sitting and pedaling feel comfortable when the bike is pointed upwards. I think this is the area where there would be a tree down. It's possible someone cleared it. But these, no, well, maybe that was it right there. Long story short, my first impression is that the 161 is exactly what I hoped it would be. A very capable enduro bike for the kind of chunky tech that we have around here. But this is really just the first test, so stay tuned. I'm hoping to get up to Mount Abram during opening weekend to put it through its paces there. And of course, I'll be doing a video review once I've got more time and miles on the bike. I'm also coming up on a thousand miles on the Druid pretty soon, so I'll likely be doing a long-term review of that fairly soon too. That is more of the type of trail that this bike is built for. That's pretty much exactly what I was hoping for and pretty much exactly what I was expecting based on like the reviews that you read about the bike, the way it's designed, the geometry, all that. Feels really stable and confident pointed downhill. Now, obviously, I'm not shredding that trail, but anytime you see me, you know, like breaking or not ripping a corner or whatever, that's that's me. That's like my skill as a rider. I was never doing that because I felt like the bike, you know, it never felt like any aspect of the bike was, was being a limitation at all. I mean, my biggest complaint about that run, honestly, would be the friggin' creaking of this helmet, which obviously has nothing to do with the bike. I gotta figure out what that is. This is footage from another Raven run, and I won't show you all of it because it ended up being slower, but I just wanted to say that the squeaky helmet is gone. I did not find the source of that noise, but I did find a significant crack in it. No idea where that came from, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, the helmet's no longer safe to wear, so I'll be shooting videos using my chest mount for the foreseeable future, as this was my only helmet with the chin mount. Anyway, I hope you have a chance to get outside and ride, and I'll see you in the next one.